Hey and welcome to this video, my name is Johannes and in this video I'm going to give you an Apex Exchange tutorial how to trade with leverage on the decentralized exchange. And first off I have a link in the description where you will get a trading rebate. So if you click on that link you will get to this page and then you will just have to connect your wallet and I will show you the exact steps very soon. And once you're done the trading rebate will be activated inside your account. So you can see connect wallet in the upper right corner. So I'll click there. And as you can see, Apex Exchange is multi-chain. So you can choose between Ethereum, BNB chain, Polygon and Arbitrum 1 at the moment. It doesn't really matter what you choose right now because you can change the network once you are connected. And I will show the differences between the networks as well when we have connected the wallet. I will just keep it on Ethereum for now. Then you can see choose wallet. So there are different options. I will go with MetaMask. Now you will have to verify ownership and then we will have to enable trading. I will have remember me uh, checked right here. Then I will click on send requests. So obviously a disclaimer right here, signature request. Only sign this message if you fully understand the content and trust the requesting site. So obviously always do your own research and due diligence before you sign any message like this with your wallet because there are scam sites that can get access to your entire wallet and drain it. So there are always risks involved when you interact with smart contracts. So just keep that in mind. I will click on sign right here and now I will have to enable trading so there's another signature request that I will have to sign so I'll click on sign. So first off you can set up email notification I will just skip this right now so I'll click on exit. So as you can see now we're connected and then you can see ethereum right here so you can click on ethereum and then you will be able to change the network. I will keep it on Ethereum, then I will go to Dashboard and show you what it looks like there. So inside Dashboard you can see Overview, Orders, Transfers, Funding and Community if you want to follow them on Twitter, Discord and Telegram. And this is the place where you can see your open positions. You can also deposit funds and withdraw funds right here. But first off I'm going to show you how to deposit funds to Apex Exchange so you can start trading. So you can see deposit in the left bottom corner right here. So I'll click on deposit. And when you deposit, it's pretty important what network you choose. You might have funds on, let's say, the Ethereum mainnet. So when you deposit funds, it's important to choose the network that you will deposit from. So you can see choose network. And then you will get the alternatives right here. The difference between these networks are the fees and also what network you might have funds on already. So Ethereum currently has the highest fees. So let's see how much the fees are right there. As you can see, you can choose the asset you want to deposit as well. So it's on USDC right now, but you can click there and you can also deposit ETH, USDT or DAI at the moment. And if I keep it on USDC, you can see available USDC on the Ethereum mainnet. I have zero at the moment. So if you want to deposit USDC, you can select an amount that you want to deposit right here. You can just click on max if you want to deposit your entire balance of USDC. And then you will have to click on enable USDC. And obviously there are transaction fees involved right here. So I will see... I will change the asset to ETH and we will see uh, how much the fees are. The gas fee at the moment when I'm recording this is approximately $10. So you can expect that the gas fee for depositing any asset from the Ethereum mainnet is higher than it is for other networks. I will just click on reject right here and then I will select the Arbitrum 1 network instead and then I will click on switch network and it's the same process right here you can select an asset important to know is that it doesn't matter what asset you choose 
because your equity will be converted into USDC no matter what. But this gives you an opportunity to deposit wrapped ETH instead of DAI. You will have to enable the asset that you choose. I will select ETH. I will type in 0 0.01 and I will click on confirm deposit and compared to a deposit from the Ethereum mainnet, uh, a deposit from Arbitrum 1 only costs 0 0.22 dollars for the gas fee. So that's something that you can consider if you want a lower cost of depositing an asset into the Apex exchange. Now we'll click on confirm. The transaction has been confirmed. The non-Ethereum deposit has been confirmed here as well. I will click on exit and now you can see my total equity has increased to 15 US dollars. And before I show you how to get started trading, I will also show you how you can withdraw. So you can see withdraw in the bottom left corner as well. I will click on withdraw and you will have the opportunity to withdraw to uh, the same networks that you can deposit from as well. I will keep it on Arbitrum 1. At this moment, you can only withdraw into USDC as an asset. They might uh, add other alternatives as well. But you can see I have 15 US dollars available. So I can type in 15 or I, you can select max if you want. But obviously be aware if you have open positions and if you have leverage. Because you might get liquidated if you withdraw available equity and you have open positions. So you can see the withdrawal process may take up to two hours. But in my experience it usually is uh, quite fast. There's a small fee here as well at one US dollar. But if you want to confirm the withdrawal, you can just click on the button right here. Obviously be aware if you withdraw to Ethereum mainnet that the transaction fee might be higher than if you withdraw to let's say Arbitrum 1. But yeah, the process is pretty straightforward just as the deposit process. So now I will go ahead and show you how to get started trading. You can see trade in the menu right here. So I will click on trade. You can see I'm on Arbitrum 1 network here as well. I'm not really sure if it matters when you place trades, etc. But I will just keep it there. You do whatever you want. Now, first off, you can see BTC USDC. So there are different trading pairs here. As you can see, there's ETH USDC, XRP, Atom, Doge, Matic, uh, OP, Solana, BNB, Litecoin at the moment. They might add new ones as well. I'll just keep it on Bitcoin USDC. You can see the price chart. You can change the time frames right here. You can also use indicators. So this uh, price graph is from TradingView. So there are uh, different customization options available. I won't go into the details of how to set up the price chart right now. You can see the order book. And now I will show you how to place an order and open a position. So there's limit, there's market and there's conditional market. I'll just keep it on market for simplicity. What a market order does is to select the price automatically from the order book. And if you select limit, you can select the order price. So let's say you want to buy at a cheaper price. You can set an order on, let's say, $23,000. But obviously the price will have to uh, decline in order for your position to be opened in that case. A market order just places an order at the current prices. So yeah, obviously do your own research on how to trade and how to trade efficiently so you don't lose money. And you can see 30x right here. So this is the leverage. You can change the leverage by simply clicking on it. At this current moment, 30x is the maximum leverage on Bitcoin. This might change though, and you can see there are other alternatives. Uh, you can also type in whatever amount you want. So let's say you want 25 times leverage, or you can just click on any of these options. I will select 1x leverage because I don't want to get liquidated. 
I will click on confirm and obviously read up on leverage and how it works if you haven't traded with leverage before because trading with leverage is highly risky because you can get your entire position liquidated and your entire balance that you have deposited deposited might be completely wiped out but obviously this is not financial advice this is for educational purposes only you will have to take responsibility for your own trading so with this being said i will go ahead and place a trade right here uh, you can see quantity bitcoin so you can type in an amount of bitcoin that you want to place an order for you can also click on usdc and you can select an order value of usdc so as i have about 15 us dollars available i will place an order of 10 usdc apparently i need 24 usdc in order to place uh, an order of 0 0.001 bitcoin so i will try another trading pair I'll go to Doge and as you can see when I change trading pair the leverage changes as well so be careful about this if you select another trading pair always check the leverage as you can see it's 15 times leverage right here I will click on 1x and then I will type in order value on USDC to 10 and this worked better than on Bitcoin you can see the order will be 106 doge and now you also have the option if you want to buy and long or if you want to sell and short so i won't go through a lot of details but if you buy and long you obviously want the price to go up if you want profit if you sell and short you will want the price to decline if you want profits i will open a buy long right here now you can see a small tutorial close by limit price click the button to close the position at limit price i'll click on done so now as you can see we have positions right here and since it's open you can see it right here doge usdc you can see the value of the position you can see the entry price we got you can see the oracle price you can see the liquidation price and then you can see the unrealized profit and loss from the open position you can also uh, add the take profit and stop loss right here if you cl click on plus add. So let's say I want to take uh, profit when Doge gets to 1 USDC. And I want to take profit on my entire position. So you can see my expected profit. You can see my ROI. Basically means a 10x. So you might want to select a bit lower price so let's say 0 0.1 and then you can see the roi is 95.75 percent you can also set the stop loss at the price so let's say i don't want to keep my position if doge uh, decreases to 0 0.09 and i want to stop my entire position so i will select 100 percent and then you can see how much we will lose so minus 60 percent approximately so obviously you don't have to select take profit you don't have to select a stop loss this is only for your own strategy and setting a stop loss is probably a good thing for most people so click on confirm and if you want to change this you can just click on details and you can cancel the take profit you can cancel the stop loss or you can just add other targets as well if you want to close your position you can click on market and it will close your position straight ahead you can also close by limit and then you can select the price where you want to close your position as well you can drag this slide right here if you just want to close 50 percent of your position or whatever you want i'll click on cancel works the same on market you can close the entire position or you can drag the slider or just type in whatever quantity of doge in this case that you want to close so i will close the entire position uh, at the market price i will click on confirm your entire order has been filled now we can see it under closed and here you can see the doge usdc position and now the equity will be available inside my 
dashboard again. So these are the basics of trading on the Apex exchange. Now there are some other things like trade to earn, which I can show you. And the trade to earn is rewards for trading. So by trading, you will earn some BANA tokens. And to claim any rewards, any BANA tokens, you will have to select the Ethereum mainnet. And then the BANA token rewards will accumulate right here. There are also some other things you can do with your BANA tokens. I won't go through all the details right now. You can also see staking right here. And to stake Apex token or ES Apex, you will have to be on the Ethereum mainnet as well. So I will click on switch network. And you can see Apex and ES Apex pool. You can see the pool APR. So you can just, if you have Apex tokens available, maybe you want to buy some. You can just click on stake. And then you can stake token right here. You can select the amount or just click on max. You will have to approve. And then you can just confirm the staking and you will earn some USDC rewards for having your Apex and ES Apex staked. So anyways, I think I have covered uh, most things on the Apex exchange. Hopefully you found value in this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency and DeFi tutorials. Else, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.